From the playbook of the inventors of Beanie Babies and Cabbage Patch Dolls, there is a new collectible flying off the shelves. They're called Kooky Pens. You know them if you're a parent because you're spending the money, a lot of it. This is a clip, take a look, of a little girl describing this her cache of cookies. no name. And there are hundreds of clips just like this Six, all over the internet. Eight. They're really eight. into these. They look so simple. And that's the beauty, the well, eloquence like of these things. They retail pay. for about $3.49 in stores and are going for a lot more resale on the web, eBay and others. So how do you come up with a million-dollar idea like this? Let's ask the man who did it. The guy behind all this madness, Kooky Pens founder, senior VP of sales and design at Courage International, Brent Reese. Congratulations. Hello, David. Thank you so much. Shaking the hands of the guy who came <laughs> up. Now, if you're the founder of these things, if you really came up with, you know, with the whole idea of marketing these, why are you a senior vice president? Well, uh, uh, I founded the original company four, four and a half years ago. And uh, up until last year, the company was moving along at a nice, reasonable pace. And then Cookies exploded on the scene last year. And, and, I, and really exploded. Really exploded. And I found myself undercapitalized and, and uh, lacking in senior management. So I saw, thought the best move for me to continue the brand moving forward was to sell the company. Which is now, I know I you don't like to talk numbers, and I can understand <laughs> that. But it's fair to say it's over a million, right? Uh, it's fair to say. It's okay, so because the idea of coming up with something that seems so simple, you know, that actually hits it with the market is, is extraordinary. Is it just luck, or was there something about this design that you saw had the potential of making millions? Well, I like to, uh, to think that it wasn't just luck. Um, any business, any entrepreneur that starts a business and comes up with a unique item has to have, you know, a good item to start with, has to have good planning, has to be able to work hard, and then has to have the luck. Now, we should mention that somebody actually, the initial design, which was a very simple design, you saw. Somebody Correct. actually came up with the initial design, but you capitalized on it quite literally. I actually found the first pen, the shape of the kooky pen, at a factory in China. And I saw the shape, I saw the hair, I liked the tactile uh, feeling of the pen. It reminded me of Lincoln Logs or Lego when I was a kid. I always loved the tactile items. And then I started envisioning the different faces and the different names. And what is it? We actually have some sample kids in the <laughs> audience that we brought in to play with it. What is it that they love about these pens? Is, you mentioned tactileness of it. Your fingers are a lot bigger than theirs. The, the cookies have seemed to have hit a chord with the children uh, in America today. They're safe. Uh, they're non-threatening. They're non-gender specific. They're very cute. They've got a great feel in the hand. And, and for some character. reason, and they've got character, and the kids are relating. They're, they're, I just got grilled uh, in the green room by Brett over here. He knows more about the different crews and the character names than I do. He does? Is yeah. that true? Yes, absolutely. I was a little bit embarrassed. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, so, so that's the, the gentleman <laughs> we're looking at right now who's taking some pride in that remark of yours. Go ahead. So the so the kids have found this uh, uh, relation to these pens, and whenever you relate to something, uh, and and there's collectability involved, that's what's happening. You know, with the it, it pens. also seems. Forgive an outsider for throwing his two cents in, but it also seems whenever you find a product that has its own character, each individual one that you buy is there's some number, there's some characteristic about it that makes it unique. That's why you have this resale value on eBay. Correct. Well, when we first started Cookies, I just designed the faces and the shapes, and then I thought, oh, I can start naming them. I mean, one thought kind of led to another. We started naming them, and then recently, starting in January of this year, we started numbering with a birth order each pen. So this is Sir Cook's like a lot. Did you, you took a cue from Cabbage Batch? No, I, I didn't collect cab Cabbage Batch. But this at least all, that's what they do. The they have birth date and so forth. Correct. Yeah. So we have a birth date. We have a, several different identifiers on the, on the back of the pen. We started putting them in crews, K-R-E-W, Kooky Crew, uh -huh. Crew 3, Crew 4, Crew 5, Crew 6. And then in January, we started putting the holographic sticker on there to authenticate what the Kookies are. Let me see if so we can get that holographic. <laughs> can you do a close up on this here? No, I guess they can't. All right. Well, there's a holographic symbol on there that you can just oh, see the outline cookie. of. Yeah. The, and then, of course, you got into all of the other products. Here's a uh, sort of a keychain with one of those fancy clips that that's I love. A, that's a kooky sling. Here we have little kooky tape measures oh, that we're manufacturing. Oh, I like that. 
I like that. I hope it has a button. Yep, okay. button that sucks it back in. Some kooky jump ropes have been introduced this spring. They're a very hot item. The kids and they have the them. slippers. Correct. Well, the slippers are interesting. The slippers, along with the plushes, as we've grown uh, the kooky uh, brand, it started off as an item uh -huh. and it turned into an extremely hot item at retail. And slowly but surely, it's been turning into a brand. So we're going to capitalize on the brand. And we're going to uh, launch a, uh, a strong licensing effort. Uh, this plush here is manufactured by Commonwealth Plush, uh -huh. and they're our first licensee. Manufactured in China? Manufactured in China. Okay. And it has all the characteristics of a kooky And that hasn't turned anybody the off with all the no. fears about all, Chinese toys. No. All, all of our merchandise is fully tested and in compliance fully with vetted. all the fully vetted. Fully vetted. What's next? What's next? Tell us. Give us a preview of the next uh, well, bubble before well, if, it blows up. If I told you what was next, you know, I don't know, then then it would, uh, <laughs> you know, the demand of cookies may slow All down. Right. No, what's next? We're going to keep making great merchandise. We're going to keep... The, the interesting thing about the cookie clickers is, at the very beginning, I can honestly tell you that that this, uh, this development of the cookies was not planned. We brought the merchandise out. And what's happened is over the last two years is the kids have voted. Yeah. The kids well, you have know, spoken and Genius in marketing is going with the flow, and clearly you've done that. Brett, we've got to leave it at that. Brent Reese. Thank you so much, David. Great. Congratulations on all Thank this. You. A wonderful success story, and those kids prove it so. <laughs> Coming up on deck, Indiana Jones over the hill or worthy of its big buzz. And your text results on that new Wii, the one with the, uh, the fitness built into it. Buy, sell, or hold. Coming next with a special guest.